Hi, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and I want to welcome you to episode four of Chronicles of a Mompreneur. This is a review of the Rescue Time Time Management Software Program, which is a way you can take control of your time and stop email addiction. So, welcome. This is the review of the Rescue Time Time Management Software. What it actually is, it's this little software program that downloads to your computer, works on both a Mac or a PC, and it keeps track of all the software you use, every single website that you're on. Uploads that information to the Rescue Time servers, and then you can go onto a website, your dashboard, which is what you're looking at right now, and see that information summarized in a bunch of different ways. So you can see it right up here. You can see that it can summarize things for every, forever, this year, this month, this week, just today, and it summarizes it by applications and sites for today, so mail app, right now I'm doing an iMovie. It also, you can tag each type of application or website, so it keeps track of information that way. So for instance, I have certain, certain software tagged as video casting, which is what I'm doing right now. I have certain software tagged as documents, so my Word doc, when I use Word or when I use Excel. So the idea being that you can keep track of everything you do on a computer without you really actually paying attention. So you can come back later and do some analysis of your time. So let me give you an example of what I've figured out. So first, let me actually scroll down to the bottom of this screen. Today, this is just today's information. One thing that's really been interesting for me is I've figured out that I work a lot really early in the morning. So here at 6 a.m., between 6 and 7 a.m. today, I spent 58 minutes and 51 seconds on my computer. And if you look at the sub data summarized over weeks and months, I actually, that's fairly consistent. Between 6 and 8 a.m., I'm spending most of my time on the computer. You can also see, like I've also figured out how much I really do work. So let me go up to this week. So this is going to be summarized information for the week. So down here, you can see how many hours I work each day on my computer. So Tuesday, I worked 9 hours and 3 minutes. Wednesday, I worked 6 hours and 20 minutes. Oh, and by the way, this is Thursday. Now, that doesn't count client meetings and phone calls and my radio show times when I'm not on the computer. So I actually worked like 10 hours that day. This has been really helpful for me to figure out how much I actually work. Typically, I'm working 50, 55, 60 hours a week. And I didn't appreciate that I was actually working that much, partially because I enjoy what I do. It also helps you keep track of what you're working on. So you can see over here, email. I'm spending 24% of my time this week on email, which is much more than I want to be spending. So how can I deal with that? Well, one way I've dealt with this is by setting an alert. Up here at the top, it says less than one hour of email per day. That's one of my goals. I've only met that goal one out of five days this week. Over here under goals and alerts, you can set goals that any particular thing that you do, you spend more or less time than you want. I also have a goal for spending more than one hour a day networking. App site list, this is where it'll have ev this is where you can tag things. So my mail application, I have tagged email. You can edit the tags and say, oh well actually I want it to be email and I want it to be personal. And you can tag with as many tags as you want. No, I actually don't want it to be that way. Cancel. It'll also let you tag things you haven't tagged it before. So there's some other new websites that I've been playing with that I haven't tagged yet. So I need to go through and, and tag there. I actually didn't donate any money to Barack Obama, but I was looking at his stuff. <laughs> anyway, you can also look at all this information over the month, over the year, forever. So it's, it's really fun to be able to see and, and very illustrative to see how much time you're actually spending on everything. Let's see how much time, actually. Since dinosaurs roamed the earth, your top activity was email. Are we surprised? I've spent, you know, 81 hours on email since I started using this. 22% of my computer time. These guys, this is a beta testing. Um, it's a very stable program. I've only had once where I actually had a problem and had to reload it. They are very responsive. So over here you can see that they have a suggestion box. And I've had an issue, filled out a, filled out a feedback feedback issue, and I got an email you know, very quickly. They fixed the thing in, in an hour. Um, the only problem I've had is having it 
lock up a little bit with, with a, my Mac computer, but I think they fixed that. They actually did a new update in the past week, and it looks like it's running much better. So if you have time management issues, I highly suggest signing up for Rescue Time. As of right now, it's totally free. I think in the future, maybe they will charge for some up-level of it, but right now it's in beta testing, and it's completely free. So you can go to rescuetime.com to check that out. Thank you for watching, and if you have any more questions about time management or one other tips or tools for managing your time as a small business owner, please go to chroniclesofamompreneur.com. That's chroniclesofamompreneur.com. Until next time, bye-bye.